All right, bowl season is here. Moving on to Thursday in the Pinstripe Bowl, Yankee Stadium. We got Syracuse taking on Minnesota, seeing the Golden Gophers uh, as a 10 point favorite in this spot. Uh, and, you know, with two slow paced teams, as you'd imagine, a pretty low total at 42. I do have an official play on this game. Give me the Golden Gophers, minus 10. It's an official one unit play for me. You know, I've ridden Minnesota all year, particularly when they're expected to win by margin against, you know, clearly inferior opponents. I backed them against Northwestern. I think I laid 17 with them. That worked. Laid, laid the points with them against Rutgers. You know, they've been pretty good in this role. I all know they have a top 10 defense, you know, that's especially good going up against the run. But this offense is incredibly undervalued. You know, they obviously got Mo Ibrahim, who will play in this game, by the way. Uh, they're very physical up front. They're going to ride Ibrahim, uh, you know, maybe 25, 30 carries if the back half of this season taught us anything. And, you know, that's proven to be quite effective for them. I will say quarterback play, though, is very underrated for this team. You know, Tanner Morgan has flirted with coming back for this game. He's obviously been there forever. He was hurt uh, really over the last month of the season. Uh, if he comes back, that's really kind of an added bonus. I'm playing this with the anticipation that Ethan Kaliak Manis, the true freshman, uh, starts this game. Is Kaliak Manis as efficient and as proven as Morgan? No. But I will say, eight and a half yards per attempt through the air this year, you know, he's shown the ability to kind of build off of what Minnesota does in the run game and be able to hit on those explosive plays down the field. Syracuse, their strength defensively was in their secondary, but they're down their top two corners right now. I think that's really going to hurt them in this matchup. Uh, and, you know, what was going to be their strength, I kind of have questions about that entering this game. And kind of as we've seen all year, you know, when they really step up and play these really physical running teams, like Florida State, like Notre Dame. This hasn't really worked out for them too well. Uh, they're just not a very physical team in the trenches on either side of the ball. Much like their D-line, Syracuse's offensive line is, is, you know, quite frankly overmatched in some of their tougher matchups. You know, just watch the Clemson game, watch the Florida State game, watch, watch the Notre Dame game. I mean, this is a similar type of matchup here. Perhaps Syracuse's biggest loss of all. Their running back, Sean Tucker, you know, really good player. He opted out to prepare for the NFL draft. He wasn't having the kind of year we expected him to because of that offensive line to begin with. So with probably their most talented guy on the roster out, I, I think Syracuse is going to get dominated in the run game. You know, Garrett Schrader, Syracuse's quarterback, surprisingly had a pretty good year. I mean, 8.7 yards per attempt through the air. Uh, I will say he really padded his stats in some of his easier matchups. Like he went 17 for 17 against Wagner, played well against UConn, against Boston College, against Wake Forest. But you know, against these similar type opponents, Florida State, Notre Dame, Purdue, he struggled. And he didn't just struggle. He struggled mightily. I mean, go watch that Notre Dame game uh, and, and tell me you have confidence in Garrett Schrader going up against top 10, top 15 defenses. So, you know, I wouldn't say Minnesota's strength defensively is their secondary, but with how much they're going to dominate up front, really on both sides of the ball, and, and you know, with, with how one-dimensional they're going to make Syracuse in this game, I, I think just serviceable secondary play will be enough for the Golden Gophers here. I, I laid the 10 with Minnesota. I've loved them in this role all year. I don't care if it's Morgan. I don't care if it's Callie McManus at quarterback. They're really going to wear out Syracuse in the run game. You know, kind of likewise, they're going to dominate in the run game defensively. I've liked Minnesota all year. I'll lay the 10 with them here uh, as an official one-unit play.